Hey guys, in this video I have the WL Toys K989 128 scale rally car. It's a brush system, so it has a brush motor, brushed ESC, and even though it's not brushless, it's actually still pretty fast, especially if you're just, you know, bashing it around indoors. It's a ready to run system, so it does come with a transmitter. It also comes with a 400 milliamp hour battery, and it comes with a charger as well. Now the charger that it comes with, it is not North American and they do include an adapter that allows you to plug it into a North American style plug. I plan to use it with my Eternity GTX3 which is exactly the same as the Flysky GT3B. I like having just one transmitter to control everything this way if I do have to bring it with me I don't have to bring a whole bunch of transmitters and I already have a whole bunch of other RC cars that uses the GTX3 from Eternity. Unfortunately the receiver included with the K989 isn't compatible with any of the Flysky or Eternity protocols so you will have to replace it. In this video I'll show you how to replace the receiver and ESC so you can use it with your own transmitter of choice. I'll show you how to set it up with your your transmitter in my case it's the Flysky GT3B and finally I'll show you how to bind it with the transmitter. The first thing we have to do is swap out the ESC receiver. For those who don't know the ESC is the electronic speed controller. It's what controls the motor and since the motor is brushed you will need a ESC that is for brushed motor. So if you plan to upgrade to a brushless system with a brushless motor then you will need a ESC that uh, supports brushless motors. And the receiver is what communicates with the radio transmitter that you're using so it'll tell the vehicle what to do in terms of uh, applying throttle and steering. Now the ESC receiver in the WL Toys car is an all-in-one solution so you can't just replace one component of it since the ESC and receiver is a single unit. Fortunately the parts for this mod is very inexpensive. The receivers are about five or six dollars and the ESC as well five or six dollars. The ESC we're going to be using is actually from another brand of 120 scale RC cars. It's from Sino Hobby. It is their replacement part and it actually works very well with this car as well. The receiver I'm using is the Hobby King branded version the GT2R. However it's just a rebranded you know Fly Sky G, GR3 receiver so any one of those from Flysky or Hobby King should work and like I said they're only about five or six dollars. I'll put a link to the parts in the description if you're interested in picking one up. Obviously if you want to use a Spectrum radio you will need a Spectrum receiver. So as you can see from this picture here this is the ESC slash receiver. This is what basically controls your car. Just take off a few screws and then you can take it off of the chassis and you may want to keep this for the future just in case you want to put it back on but you won't be needing this part at all. And this is the ESC we're going to be replacing it with. So here you'll see a bunch of wires coming out of it. One of them is the on and off switch and this one here is the motor connector. Here is the battery connector and over here this is where you plug it into the receiver. Now I'm going to show you how to plug everything together. So here's the ESC I showed you before in the previous picture. Here is the on and off switch. And over here you have the ESC wire that plugs into the receiver. This one is the motor wire and this one plugs into the battery. This is the servo wire here that controls the steering. There's a servo in the car and this is the one you want to plug up to channel 1. And over here that is the motor. This is the plug for the battery and this one here is the balance plug. We're not going to be using that so you want to put it, maybe put it away so it doesn't get any way in the way for now. Here is a HK GT2R which is a Flysky compatible receiver. This is the one I'm going to be using. It's a three channel receiver. Now I'll show you how to hook up the wires to the receiver. So this is the servo wire. It will go into channel one and when you plug it in you want to make sure you have the polarity correct. So typically it is either yellow for or yellow or white for the signal wire and it will be red for positive and negative is usually black or brown. So in this case you want the yellow wire on the left and the, the middle wire should be red and then finally brown is negative. So make sure you check the polarity and it's plugged in correctly. Next we want to plug up the ESC and the ESC is 
the same thing this time it will go into channel 2 channel 2 is usually reserved for throttle and you want the white wire to go on the left and then the middle wire is usually red and it will be positive and the third wire is black for negative now we'll hook up the motor wire the motor wire will plug into the white socket here and fortunately for us it's just a matter of plugging it together they are actually the same type of connector one thing when you plug up the motor wire is you'll notice that the polarities are reversed so in this case it doesn't really matter because we will correct it in the transmitter all that will happen in this case is since red and black are reversed negative and positive are reversed the car will go into reverse when you pull the trigger forward and it will go into uh, it will go forward when you when you try to pull it into reverse so all you have to do in this case is just to go in the transmitter and reverse the channel Finally, you can connect the battery to the ESC using the red JST connectors. Just hook them up together and there is an on and off switch so the car won't be active until you flick on that switch which is right here. We can now test to see if the battery is powering the ESC by turning it on and you can see from the light that it is actually working. Finally, you want to tidy everything up by using zap straps or double sided tape and then putting the canopy back on your car. Now I'm going to do a simple model setup for my GTX3. It should be very similar for other transmitters as well because we're only dealing with two channels. So what you want to do is find a free model slot. So I'm going to use model number 4 here and I'm going to give it a name. So give it a descriptive name here. I'm going to name it, uh, I don't know, 9, 989 would be a good name for this. So just uh, unfortunately for the GTX3, it only has three, three characters to represent a model. So it's very limited, but you may have a transmitter that has uh, allows you to have more characters. But anyways, now we want to do the uh, servo reversing. I know for a fact that on my car, that channel 1 is reversed. Channel 1 is used for steering and I need to reverse that because when I turn it right it goes left and when you turn it left it goes right so um, for channel 2 which is the throttle I actually didn't have to reverse it at all so I'm gonna leave it on normal and that's pretty much it now what we're gonna do in next is uh, bind the model to the the transmitter to start the binding process basically what you want to do is make sure you have the proper model selected so I have 989 this is the model that I created before and then you want to turn it off next thing you want to do is hook up your bind plug and this is usually included with your receiver there should be a bind plug and this will go into channel 3 this is where um, you basically tell the receiver that to, to be in bind mode and I'll show you over here on my other receiver basically right there channel 3 it says bind next to it and channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 you want to plug that into channel 3 because that will set it into bind mode Carefully plug that into channel 3, the bind port, and then next you should plug up your battery. The battery is a 7.4 2 cell battery, and that goes into the red JST connector. Now you can just flick on the power and you'll see that the receiver light will start blinking. Ignore the ESC light. What we're really looking for is the receiver light over here. It should be blinking really fast. And that tells you that it's in bind mode. And I'm going to put the car here so you can see it better right there. That's where the light is blinking really fast. And I'll just have to adjust the camera here a bit just so you can get a better angle at it. it this basically means that it's in bind mode. So to put your transmitter in the bind mode, we're actually going to hold down the bind button. Before I do that, I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. So on your transmitter, there should be a bind button. Uh, on the GTX3, it's right here. You want to hold that down as you're turning it on. And when you do that, it should bind with the receiver right away. And as you can see, the light went solid on the receiver there. And that tells you that it is bound and you're ready to use that with your uh, GTX3. You can turn off the transmitter now and then turn off the turn off the vehicle and then remove the bind plug and then what you want to do next is turn on the transmitter first you always want to do that 
And then when you turn on the car, it should automatically pair up with the transmitter and if you throw, pull the throttle, it should move the wheels and if you turn the steering, it should you know, move the, the wheels left and right. And this is where you can check if your uh, servo reversing is correct. The WL Toys K989 Rally Car is a speedy little RC car that is great for racing indoors. It's comparable to the Kyosho Mini Z RC cars but at a much lower price. With the ability to use your own programmable radio like the Flysky GT3, you can adjust a lot of things like rates or exponential and you can make it drive just the way you like it. The stock transmitter is quite limited but with the ability to use your own, it really unlocks a lot of things. Parts are also very inexpensive for the WL Toys uh, 128 scale cars. You can buy upgraded suspension, chassis, wheels, and and tires, and it really you can really change the look of the vehicle to the way you like it. I hope you found this video useful. Links to all the things I've shown you today should be in the description. And as you saw, it's not a difficult process to use your own radio. This method should work with any RC car as long as you're able to get the right ESC and receiver that works with your transmitter. Anyways, if you like what you see, comment, like, or subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video.